a case of misadventure. Now it may well have been a case of misadventure, but one thing is certain, it was greatly assisted by Storm the Cat. It is well known to me and to others who are fortunate or unfortunate enough to know Storm and Kiki that Storm liked a Vicky Bowl close to the fridge in the kitchen. Now you ask yourself, why would you have the Vicky Bowl in the fridge? Well, there are two reasons. One, putting the food outside, you may taste a whole range of feral flying chicken and other whatnot and other wildlife that you may not wish to have with you for very good reasons. The second reason, Storm does not like to wait too long for food when a biggie bowl is being filled. If you do not, <coughs> you filled, you do not take too long if you value your pants and let alone your legs. Now she likes mincemeat and doesn't like cat biggie. Which often comes in interesting shapes including stars and other pointy bits. But the mincemeat gets a tad on the expensive so, so I like to mix it with the cat biscuit, uh, cat bis biscuit known as the biggie. Much as Storm was the same where my troubles really began. Storm, having been fed some time earlier, I was now helping to, uh, hoping to have a little peace and hopefully a few quiet moments, if that was at all possible. So there I was, rounding the counter, going to the fridge for some ice and good stiff black duck. When all hell broke loose, oh bloody hell, I let out a blood curdling yell that would raise the heavens as a pain rocketed up through my legs from my bare foot. What the bloody hell was on the floor? Christ, you bloody infernal bloody cat. If you must fit out your bloody biggie, at least fit it in the bowl. It was like she was setting anti-personnel minds all over the towel. It did register me that maybe the cleverly divisive, the bloody cleverly divisive cat was making a point. And point was what I got in a short measure. Now, being the determined clever person that I am, I was not going to put up with this. I was going to have the last say. Or so I thought, much to my regret. As I'm sure you, you know, thinking can be dangerous and get you into all sorts of troubles at times. And I just had a brain run. Oh, God, yes, I would super glue the biggie to the meat. Well, it was to prove a little more time consuming than I imagined. But it would be worth it. I would fix a little wicket. But you was to prove more clever and cunning than I reckoned on. To which I was going to get a very painful reminder. <coughs> Pain, Storm by now was getting very impatient for a meet on the biggie bowl. As my, as my jeans would surely testify to as they were shredded down one leg. But you would have to wait. As I wanted to be totally sure, the super glue was totally dry for a couple of very good reasons. One being that you might get the meat off the biggie, and that would be bad enough. The other possibility didn't bear thinking about. How was I going to explain to the lovely family that? Who so much enjoyed storm things? The storm means to get a mouth glued up. I thought the idea had appeal though. I got not the cost of the vet or the very expensive soft foods for many weeks. The bloody cat would win. No, 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 no. Can't have that. So I struggled for two and a half hours to make two full bowls of meat and Vicky. Very time consuming, blooming meat and Vicky. Right. Hell of a job. Worth it knowing. Worth it knowing that I've sold it. That problem with the pity spinning. Well, I'll fix her little wicket. Well, so now Storm fed two hours ago. No wailing, no complaints, all quiet, quietly confident, everything was going along swimmingly. Oh, goody, 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 peace reigns supreme. Oh, safe in the sound knowledge that everything was quiet and proceeding as planned. I headed for the fridge. As I felt a well earned black Douglas on ice, as it had been a most trying day. So there I was, rounding the corner of the beach, when all hell broke loose once more. I thought, oh God, here we go again. I'm thinking to myself, oh bugger, I thought we'd solve this problem, as my feet went from under me. Up, up in the air they went, and down, down, down I went, landing with a bone crunching crash that shook the house. I was told below the bothers of the vicinity they thought it was a sonic beam or maybe an earthquake. But that was not the end of it. I took off across the tiles at supersonic speed with the seat of my underpants smoking as I headed for the fridge on my back. As fate would have it, my head became firmly wedged under the fridge door. I now had a massive headache. 
and not to mention super hurt parts of my anatomy and somewhat smokingly hot underpants, and my head now constantly remembering so much I couldn't focus, let alone get it cheese straight. It completely put me off in Black Douglas on ice. Besides, I didn't eat the black fat syrup now, now, but I sure did eat the ice, uh, not uh, the ice as I was so very black, not to mention the blue bits, and also not to forget the superheated parts of my anatomy and the smoldering underpants, which I felt might catch fire at any moment. Well, it seems Storm was not fooled by the superheated, by the meat, super glued to the Mickey. It had become, as it had become violently to my attention. She had pierced and spat it out as usual. Not only did she booby trap the floor, she did upstage it. One more. She created a very slippery booby trap, like someone was greasing the tiles. It was a bloody infernal ice skating ring. A bloody infernal cat that spread out his bloody biggie. Oh, why, oh, why could it not spit in the bowl? When the, the dust finally settled, and all the noise in my head stopped reverberating, I was able to get a degree of focus on the situation. Kiki and Storm came wandering over to see what was causing all the excitement. Kiki looked at her with amazement and said, What do you think he's looking for under there? Storm said, Well, bugger of I know. Can't see anything myself. I'll show you, you bloody infernal cat, when I get out from under here. I managed to inspect myself from under here. Just you bloody wait. It's not fair. There's no peace. What? When that bloody storm is about, there's no justice. I'm supposed to win, supposed to win, not the bloody infernal cat, the bloody bugger of a cat. <laughs>